A man in Tennessee, James Washington, confessed to murder back in 2009 when he was on his deathbed. He suffered a heart attack and he thought he was going to die, except he didn't die, he got better, uh, and then he had to face trial for the murder that he confessed to. That's an awesome fail. Oh my god. I'm hurt, Doug! Oh, by the way, I killed Joe back in 1978. Oh, is he, oh I'm okay now? Oh, that was just heartburn? So he, okay. was, he was in Oops. prison. He was in prison at the time that he had his heart attack. And um, his, friend, his friend was by his side, and his friend said the following. He kind of got as best as he could, uh, mentioned, uh, motioned, and said, I have something to tell you. I have to get something off my conscience, and you need to hear this. He said, I killed someone. I beat her to death. And yeah, and that's it. Like he just told her that. And by the way, the woman that he killed uh, killed back in 1995 uh, was stabbed in the neck, set on fire, and beaten with a cinder block. Jesus Christ! I'm so glad he had a heart attack, so that he could confess, so that we could actually prosecute him for that. Mm -hmm. Now, wouldn't it be ironic if it turned out he got the death penalty for it, and so that heart attack wound up killing him anyway? Yeah. Think about it. Okay. By the way, no statute of limitations on murder. So if you're going to confess to anything. Mm, and be careful about murder.